What's up magic makers, Drew here. And today I wanna talk about seashell magic. Now, I have always lived close to the ocean my entire life. Right now, and for most of my life, it has been the Atlantic Ocean, but for a little chunk of it, it was the Pacific Ocean. Either way, I've always had an abundance of seashells around me. And as you all know, we can use anything in our magic anything at our disposal. Now, I have a lot of experience with crystals and herbs and things of that nature, but honestly, I've only just begun to work with seashells in my magic. And I don't know why, it just, I was more drawn to the crystals and the herbs, I guess. So I don't have a whole lot of working experience with this. So the information I'm going to give you is mostly what I've done through research and any intuitive gut reactions or just common sense reactions I might have with regard to any of the specimens I'm going to talk about, but there's probably going to be only a few of those, if any. Now, I have plenty of other shells that I'm not going to show you, but I haven't done enough research in, and I feel like this is a nice little grouping to start with. So, without further ado, first we have abalone shells. This little guy is actually polished on the outside. So he's all beautiful and shiny. Um, this was actually purchased at a little beach shop. You know, if you live near a beach or have been to a beach, you know there's a million shops that sell all kinds of beachy things. This one is a lot bigger and rougher, more raw and real. And this one I actually got from Sandy from Artistic Mystic. She has a Artistic Mystic Rummage and Barter page on Facebook. If you haven't checked it out, you should. She's got lots of cool things. I got this from her. At any rate, let's talk about the properties. Abalone shells are said to be good for healing, love, beauty, compassion, peace, psychic development, intuition, chakra balancing, stress, and anxiety. I thought the chakra balancing, once I read that, I thought, oh, duh, because of this sort of rainbow sheer iridescence. Again, there are certain things, I haven't tried it, so I don't know how, how effective it is, but there are certain things that we can look at, not just shells, anything around us, and common sense can tell us how to use them based off of their appearance, off of lore and tradition around the objects, that kind of thing. Next is clamshell. This one is kind of rough. A lot of my shells are not, while I think they're beautiful, they're not what a store would think was beautiful because they just came off the beach. So clam shells are associated with the goddess. And this comes from Aphrodite with her emerging from the clamshell, from what I've looked at. They're also associated with love, again, Aphrodite energy, friendship, purification, and are said to make great talismans. This is an awfully big one. Of course, typically you might want to work with smaller ones for many purposes. This would make a great offering dish of some sort of spell crafting, herb craft that you're working. Next are the cowrie. And you'll notice that many of my cowrie, that many of my cowrie shells are open faced. They've been cut. And that is because all of these are for divining. They are divining cowrie. Here is a better look at ones that have not been split open. And you can see they, they vary greatly in their appearance. Sometimes they have this purple. I like the purple, so I have a lot of those. But sometimes they have a more brown appearance. And of course, the bottoms of them are pursed. A lot of their properties come from the symbolism of this purse. It is associated with the yoni, so femininity. So cowrie shells are great for fertility, love, prosperity, money, and any feminine issue. As I said, they're associated with femininity, with women. Next are jingles. These are jingles. 
and they're called jingles because of that noise that they make. So I've only ever really seen them in white, this orangey color and the black. They are so fragile. Um, I really like using jingles to crush up Jingles, sand dollars, and crab pieces are, piece, are bits that I have used in my magic for a long time, which is another reason why I don't understand I didn't make the leap to just working with shells until the end of last year is when I really started thinking about it, around November of last year. I really started digging in and looking at seashells and wanting to use them in my magic. So jingles are great for money and prosperity, and who doesn't need money and prosperity? Next are what would be many witches favorites they are referred to as moon snails these are moon snail uh, shells moon shells are associated with the goddess they are great for lunar magic they're good for psychic awareness peace change and transformation Next, we have the Nautilus shell. Now, my poor Nautilus, this Nautilus is so old and it has always lived outside. A lot of my shells live outside, especially the bigger ones. So he's faded and damaged and, you know, normally this would be very dark brown stripes running through here. But, I mean, years and years and years of being in the sun have sort of bleached it a bit. Nautilus are great for growth regeneration, protection, and mental abilities. Next are oyster shells. Now, oyster shells are in great abundance where I live. You, you can't hardly walk around without finding oyster shells. I mean, people make their driveways out of them here because it's a cheap way to do it. Not everybody, but there are people who do. So oyster shells are great for fortune, banishing, and protection. Next we have pen shells. Now, these have these little spiky doodahs on them that grow up out of them. And they do have sort of a sheer and iridescence that if it was polished it would look really pretty here in the middle of them, down at the tips. And what's really cool is if you find them together when they're open like this, they look like a heart. So pen shells are great for creativity, inspiration, and courage. Next we have cocky shells. Now I apologize if I am pronouncing that incorrectly. They look a lot like clam shells. They have these deep ridges on them that run down them. Um, that's one of the ways you can distinguish them. And they are shaped a bit differently than clam shells. They are much more um, bubbled, bubbled up than a clam. Fatter, as it were, than a clam. These two don't go together, but I just made them go together. Cocky shells are good for love, emotions, friendship, family, and relationships. Just to give you a better idea real quick, you can see the clamshells run, the striations run horizontally, um, whereas with these shells, they run vertically. And they're much deeper. Then there's scallop shells. And the way I distinguish scallop shells is because they also have the deep ridges. They are shaped slightly differently and they always have these little feet unless they're broken off at the bottom. All these beautiful, beautiful scallop shells. I love that scallop shells are one of my favorites. They're just so, so many different variations. Um, and I don't know, there's something really beautiful about them. So scallops are great for travel and growth and they can be substituted for any other shell in a working. There's always that one thing, rosemary for herbs, roses for flowers, clear quartz for crystals. These are your, I can do anything shells. So you put your intent into it and you tell it what you wanted to do and it's going to help you with that next as you may have guessed are whelk shells now i may be misidentifying some of these because it's to me conch shells and whelk shells look very similar but from what i understand the mouths are like this 
so I'm thinking this is a conch and not a whelk. Um, it's very worn down, um, but these I'm almost positive are whelks. Okay, so I've got this one. This one's one of my favorites. For some reason, it just screams sunshine, I guess because of the orange. I don't know, but it li actually lives outside on the front porch. Um, and so there's all kinds of little cobwebs and stuff going on in there. Now, there are many kinds of whelk shells and they have very different appearances sometimes. I mean, they're all obviously very similar, but depending on where they came from, just because it washed, washed up on your beach doesn't mean that it lived in your part of the ocean. This one has a little barnacle, so cool. Um, so they are, they can be very different in appearance. Now, most of mine look the same because most of them have been found in this region from this region. So again, lives outside, sorry, cobwebs. <laughs> um, the whelk shell is great for control and change. Next is the olive shell. And I only have this one little guy and he's all broke. But I don't, it's amazing to me that I only have one because I have a mill. I live, like I said, all my life have been at a beach. So I only have one little guy, but this is an olive shell and they're good for friendship, hope, and healing. Lastly today is the cone shell. Now, again, these vary widely in appearance, but essentially this is, you know, what you're going to get. These little cones with patterns on them. The pattern on this one is very light. Um, but cone shells are great for change, courage, and protection. So yeah, guys, like I said, I've just begun to dip my toe into seashell magic. Um, hopefully, if years down the road, I am still making YouTube videos, I will do some more in-depth videos when it comes to working with seashells. I thought this was a nice follow-up to my sea wand video and it is the summer, so there you go. Ooh, look, I forgot when I was doing my whelk shells. I've got all these little baby whelks. Aren't they so cute? I've got tons of these. So cute. Um, and I have whelk egg casing. I'm at, at some point, maybe I'll do um, a video where I talk about the other sea stuff that I do, that I have worked with devil's purses and whelk egg casings and the sand dollars and the crab pieces and just driftwood and all that kind of stuff. But we'll have to see. At any rate, as always, thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I love that y'all hang out with me and listen to me gab about these things. Um, if any of you have experience working with seashells, let me know because like I said, I am new on this part of my journey, this seashell adventure. And until next time, much love and gratitude.